guys, my name is Haley Cunningham and this is my solar lab final. And today I'm going to be making a solar power hot dog cooker out of a Pringles can, a skewer, and a hot dog. So, to get started, we're going to remove the lid of the Pringles can and remove the top seal part. And then you're going to have to remove your Pringles. Once those are removed, you're going to cut a rectangle shape in your Pringles can that will fit your hot dog length. So, be careful, use safety, but you're gonna use a knife for this. very wide. that cut out you're gonna have like a little area and this reflective piece is gonna be what helps cook your hot dog so now you're gonna take that lid that you had at the beginning and a skewer and your knife and you're gonna poke a little hole carefully I recommend putting it on top poke a little hole for your skewer to go through you can also do a slice, that's what ended up having with mine. Either way, as long as it holds your skewer, you'll be fine. And then poke another hole on the other end of your Pringles can. And again, be careful when doing this. Okay. Now you're gonna take your skewer, you're gonna make sure it fits through these holes. See, that one needs to be a little bit bigger. sides are good you're going to place your skewer through the top or bottom end whichever end you want to start on and put it like halfway through and then take your hot dog any hot dog of choice doesn't matter and start feeding it on the skewer and i'll show you push the skewer down be careful not to poke yourself because you can do that Now take your hot dog and just stir it and put it through that other hole that we created on the other end. Okay, 
Now it looks like this. We're gonna feed our hot dog down so that it's in the middle of the hole. Like that. And so our final step is to take the temperature, the starting temperature of our um, hot dog. So it's currently 74 degrees in uh, John's World, and it's also pretty windy today. So our starting temperature for our hot dog, we're gonna get it really quick. These were in the fridge, so should be pretty cold. You can throw this piece in your thing away. Okay. No. Still going down. Okay, the temperature is exactly 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think you can see that. So that's what we're going to put as our start temp. 50 degrees Fahrenheit at, at 1040. And it's 74 degrees outside. Okay, now we're gonna go outside. And I'm gonna have to make sure my dog doesn't go outside with us because he will eat the hot dog. Look, come here. Come here. Stay. Uh uh. Come on. Stay. But I'm gonna go on my balcony and I'm gonna put it in this corner down here and make sure that it's getting sun that's gonna reflect. As you can see, I can't see that. And we will come back in 10 minutes. Okay, it's still 74 degrees outside. It's now 1050, and we're going to take our second temperature of our hot dog. Still in the sunlight. Still looks pretty good. Kind of looks like it's drying out a little bit, you know? Because they're normally juicy in the package. Temperature has definitely increased by quite a bit. Still going. I think it's gonna stop 74.1 degrees at 10.50, 10 minutes in. I'll come back in the next 10 minutes. Okay, it's still 74 degrees outside. It's now 11 o'clock and we're going to go check the temperature again. Okay, still really good sunlight. Still getting the good sunlight in the corner. And it's kind of like drying out still. Like it's kind of getting wrinkly.
So I think the temperature this time is 82.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, they just went to four. Maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. She's slowly increasing. Still going. <laughs> My dog's at the door. He's trying to get this hot dog. Okay, it's 83.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 83.8, sorry. And we'll come back in the next 10 minutes. Okay, it's 11.10. It's still 74 degrees outside. And we're going to go check the temperature again. It's still really sunny. We're getting good sunlight. But look, our hot dog is in the shade now. So we're going to have to move it a little bit. So now it's getting sunlight again, and we're gonna take this temperature. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, 85.1 is our next um, temperature. We'll come back in 10 minutes and see what the next one okay, is. Okay, it's still 74 degrees outside and it's now 1120 and we're going to check the temperature of our hot dog. Stay blue. It's still getting direct sunlight now that we've moved it and the weather is still good. You can also see now that like the holes that I'm poking in it for the temperature are starting to like leak liquid. It's kind of weird to say, but I think that's a good sign. Because hot dogs are juicy when you cook them. Okay, we're at 91.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna come back in 10 more minutes and see where we're at. It's still 74 degrees outside and it's now 11.30 and we're gonna take the temperature of the hot dog. It is very windy today, I don't know if I said that. It's still getting pretty good sunlight. You can kind of see, we're probably gonna have to move it again. I'll probably move it this time just so we don't put it in the shade. I'm just going to scoot it slightly over. And then now we're going to take its temp.
It's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And I will be back with you for the last temperature check. Okay, it's now 11.40. It's been a whole hour. It's 75 degrees outside. And we're going to check the final temperature of our hot dog solar cooker and see how much she has increased. I think it has like turned colors slightly, not very much. Um, it's kind of like, it kind of spots, but I know when I say that it's gonna like sound nasty. It's definitely still producing liquid. So like something's going on there something good actually um and yeah if you were in a bind in a bind I guess and you had a Pringles can and a skewer and a hot dog you cook it we have reached the 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit mark and it's still pretty sunny it is really windy I think if it wasn't so windy it might have increased more over the hour, but you could definitely cook a hot dog this way. Uh, it hasn't really moved any. It's 107 degrees Fahrenheit, and then now let's take a look at our hot dog. Sorry. Um, get you some good lighting for a try. It's like different colors. We can go compare it to um, a hot dog out of the fridge. But. Let's see. We went from 50 to 100. That's pretty good. And then our hot dogs look like this. I'm not going to take out the package. They look like kind of pale, one color, monotone. And now our hot dog looks like this. So it's definitely darker for sure. It's pretty cool. I forgot to mention also, it, it smells like a cooked hot dog. I'm going to cut into it. We're going to see. Do a little paper towel. Pull it off the skewer. This is the inside looks pretty, pretty cooked to the touch. It feels warm. Um, it's definitely not hot by any means but this for one so I think if you left it out there longer it would definitely cook for a real <laughs>